If you've been following AI news, I just came across a fascinating article about how Amazon is literally planning to dethrone Nvidia. Yes, the same Nvidia that's been absolutely dominating the AI hardware market. Amazon's apparently developed a new AI chip that they claim could shake up the entire industry. So let me break down exactly what I'm reading and what this could mean for the future of AI computing. You know what's really captivating about this story? It's where Amazon chose to develop one of tech's most ambitious projects. We're not talking about some gleaming futuristic facility in Silicon Valley. Instead, they're working on this potential NVIDIA competitor in what the article describes as a bland North Austin neighborhood dominated by anonymous corporate office towers. The lab itself completely breaks your expectations of what a $2 trillion company's R&D facility should look like. Picture this, long workbenches stretching across the room overlooking Texas's expanding suburbs. But here's what makes it fascinating. It's deliberately messy in a productive way. There are printed circuit boards scattered around, cooling fans laid out for testing, and networking gear in various states of assembly. Some of these components are actually muddied with thermal paste. That's the stuff they use to keep chips from overheating. But the most telling detail about Amazon's approach? Their engineers think nothing of making a Home Depot run for a drill press. This isn't some sterile corporate environment where you need to file three requisition forms to get a screwdriver. These are hands-on engineers who will do whatever it takes to get the job done. They're even happy to learn completely new skills outside their expertise if it means speeding up development. The article mentions that there's a bootstrapping vibe to the place, which is absolutely wild when you consider that this is coming from one of the world's most valuable companies. It's like they've deliberately chosen to maintain the scrappy, innovative culture of a startup, even while working on technology that could reshape the $100 billion AI chip market. This setup tells us something crucial about Amazon's approach to innovation. Rather than creating some over-engineered, pristine development facility, they've opted for a practical, hands-on environment where engineers can move fast and iterate quickly. It's almost like they're channeling that early Amazon Garage startup energy from the 1990s, but now they're applying it to some of the most advanced technology in the world. What makes this even more interesting is that this utilitarian approach isn't just for show, it's getting results. Their first two generations of AI chips are already in use, and they're now rushing to get their third generation, Tranium 2, into data centers by the end of the year. It's a perfect example of how sometimes the most groundbreaking innovations don't come from the most polished environments, but from places where engineers have the freedom to experiment, fail, and iterate quickly. Reading through this Bloomberg article, the technical details here are absolutely mind-blowing. So what exactly are we looking at with Tranium 2? Amazon's claiming this thing delivers four times the performance of their previous chip. Not just that, they've packed it with three times more memory. But here's where it gets really wild. They're planning to connect up to 100,000 of these chips together. Just imagine that kind of computing power. They're already shipping these to data centers in Ohio with plans for a broader rollout. Now, let's talk about how they completely reimagined the design. You see, the first Tranium was like this complicated puzzle, eight chips crammed into a deep steel box, but with Tranium 2, they've stripped it down to just two chips per box. And this isn't just about making things simpler. There's some really smart thinking here. If something goes wrong, you don't have to take as many components offline to fix it. The cooling system is where things get really interesting. The old version was like this maze of cables, but with Tranium 2, they've moved most of the electrical signals through printed circuit boards instead. But here's the really fascinating part. They're already thinking ahead. The article mentions they've got these four pairs of pipes hanging from the ceiling in their lab. They're capped off right now, but they're getting ready for future chips that'll run so hot that regular fans just won't cut it anymore. Want to hear something really clever about how they developed this? Most companies would wait for their chip manufacturer, TSMC, to produce a working version before testing. Not Amazon. They took two of their older chips, stuck them on the board, and started testing their software and checking for electrical interference right away. The article calls it building the plane while it's flying. Looking at their timeline, they're aiming to roll out new chips every 18 months. That's pretty aggressive when you consider Nvidia's pushing for yearly releases. But Amazon's not just thinking about speed, they're thinking about the whole data center. One of their lead engineers, Sino, talks about treating the entire data center as one giant computer. Even Nvidia's CEO had to tip his hat to that approach. The quality control on this thing is serious business too. Right across from where they're building these chips, they've got this row of oscilloscopes set up. They're using these to catch any faulty connectors or design flaws before the chips go out. It shows they're not just focused on innovation, they want these things to be rock solid reliable. What we're really seeing here is Amazon's big bet on the future of AI computing. With companies like Anthropic and Databricks already signing up to use these chips, Tranium 2 could be the start of something huge in the AI hardware world.
Let me break down this whole market situation with Nvidia and Amazon because it's absolutely wild what's happening right now. Looking at this Bloomberg article, it talks about how Nvidia has gone through one of the most dramatic transformations we've ever seen in tech. Picture this, just two years ago, they were what you'd call a niche chip maker. Now, they're sitting at the top as the world's most valuable company. And it's all because of AI. Let's talk about what's happening with Nvidia right now because the numbers are staggering. They're AI chips. We're not talking about something you'd pick up at your local electronics store. These processors cost tens of thousands of dollars each. And here's the crazy part. They still can't make them fast enough. The article mentions that just last week, Nvidia told their investors that they're going to be playing catch up with demand for several quarters. The shortage isn't getting better. It's actually getting worse. This is where it gets really interesting. You've got these three giant cloud providers, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft's Azure, and Google Cloud Platform, and they're all in the same boat. They're Nvidia's biggest customers, but they're also kind of trapped. Imagine being completely dependent on one supplier who can't make enough of what you need. That's why they're all scrambling to break free by developing their own chips. Here's where the numbers get big. We're talking about a market worth more than $100 billion. But what's fascinating is how this whole thing started. The article traces it back to this one paper from Google researchers called Attention is All You Need. Think of it as the spark that lit this whole AI fire. What makes Amazon's position unique here is their history. The article points out that 15 years ago, they basically invented cloud computing. Since then, they've been systematically reducing their dependence on big tech suppliers. First, they built their own infrastructure. Then they started moving away from Intel chips. They even developed their own network switches. Now they're taking aim at Nvidia's AI chip dominance. But here's the really clever part. None of these companies, including Amazon, can completely break away from Nvidia yet. They're still buying Nvidia's next gen chips, still maintaining those relationships. The article even mentions that all three cloud giants are still competing to get their hands on Nvidia's latest chips when they come out. The stakes here are massive. We're seeing Amazon pour billions into this effort. They've put $8 billion into an AI company called Anthropic. They're building massive data centers and they're continuing to invest in developing future chip generations. You wanna know how serious this is? There's this unwritten rule in the chip industry that the third generation of a product is make or break time. Either it sells enough to justify all that investment or companies typically change course. And that's exactly where Amazon is right now with Tranium 2. Let's dive into Amazon's fascinating business strategy with Tranium 2 because they're playing a much smarter game than just trying to take down Nvidia. What I find really brilliant about Amazon's approach is how practical they're being. They're not coming out swinging, claiming they'll replace Nvidia overnight. Instead, they're playing a careful three-part game. First, they're starting in their own backyard. Amazon is rolling out these chips to power their own AI operations, including services like Alexa. Think of it as a massive real-world testing ground. They get to work out all the kinks while reducing their own dependency on those expensive Nvidia chips. It's like testing a new recipe at home before serving it at a restaurant. Now let's talk about the partnerships they're building because this is where it gets really interesting. Take Databricks, for example. They signed up in October to use these new chips and what's fascinating is that they're willing to spend months getting everything running smoothly. Why would they do that? Well, the potential cost savings must be significant enough to justify all that effort. But the real showstopper here is what's happening with Anthropic. Get this, Amazon poured $4 billion into the company to get them to use these chips, and they just announced another $4 billion investment. When you look at what Anthropic's chief compute officer is saying, it's pretty telling. He mentions they're actually impressed with how these chips perform for the price, and they're using them more and more. But here's the clever part. They're still keeping their options open by using Nvidia and Google products too. The bigger picture here is that Amazon is basically setting up what they're calling an AI supermarket through AWS. Think about it, they're not just selling chips, they're offering a whole ecosystem. Need tools to use existing AI models? They've got you covered. Want to train your own AI? They can help with that too. Here's what really caught my eye in the article. Amazon is claiming these chips can give you 30% better performance for your money compared to the alternatives. They're not trying to win a speed race, they're trying to win the value game. Looking at the long game, Amazon is playing to their strengths. They've got this massive cloud infrastructure through AWS. They've been making their own chips for a while now with things like Graviton, and they've got deep relationships with major tech companies. Plus, they've got the deep pockets to play the long game, but here's how they're making it all work. They're getting partners to use these chips when they renew their AWS contracts. They're letting cutting edge teams really push these chips to their limits to find weak points. And they're building this whole community around their chip ecosystem. And you've got to admire how they're managing the risks here. They're not burning bridges with Nvidia, 
they're keeping those relationships warm, they're not forcing anyone to choose sides, and they're starting with friendly customers who already have strong ties to Amazon. What we're seeing here is Amazon playing chess, while others might be playing checkers. They're thinking three moves ahead, but they're making sure each move makes sense on its own. Let me break down the biggest challenge Amazon's facing with Tranium 2, because it's not what most people would expect. According to this Bloomberg article, the real battle isn't actually about building faster chips, it's about making them easy to use. Here's the thing about Nvidia's dominance in AI chips. They've got this incredible software ecosystem called CUDA. Think of it like having the world's best toolbox. When developers get an Nvidia chip, they're not just getting raw computing power, they're getting this whole suite of tools that makes everything work smoothly. It's like having a master mechanics garage with every tool perfectly organized and ready to go. Now look at Amazon's situation. They've built this powerful new chip, but their software toolkit called Neuron SDK is still in what the article calls its infancy. It's like having a super powerful engine, but not all the tools to work on it effectively. Let me share this really telling quote from the article. Chirag Descarte, a VP at Gartner who tracks AI tech, puts it perfectly. There's a reason Nvidia dominates. You don't have to worry about those details. That's the key right there. Simplicity for the end user. The article mentions this fascinating detail about what companies have to go through to switch to Amazon's chips. Even if the actual switch isn't too complicated, companies are spending hundreds of hours just testing everything to make sure nothing broke in the process. That's a huge barrier to adoption right there. Amazon knows this is their biggest challenge. James Hamilton, one of their top engineers, straight up says it's mandatory to create great software that makes these chips easy to use. His exact words from the article are pretty blunt. If you don't bridge the complexity gap, you're going to be unsuccessful. So what's Amazon doing about it? They're getting creative. They're partnering with major companies like Databricks and Anthropic, using them as kind of early testers to help improve the system. But these companies are having to invest serious time we're talking weeks or months to get everything running smoothly. But here's what makes this whole software challenge so crucial. It's not just about making things work, it's about making things work for everybody. Nvidia's chips can handle pretty much any AI task you throw at them, nice and smooth. Amazon needs to get to that same level of flexibility and ease of use if they want Tranium 2 to really take off.